All right, so we're reviewing sine, cosine, and tangent, Sokotoa. Sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. When I look at the angle here, theta, opposite is across from it. So here's the opposite side. The adjacent side always goes from the angle to the 90. So here's my adjacent side. And of course, hypotenuse is the longest side. So the question here asks us to find the cosine of theta. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So I take the number that represents the adjacent side, put it over the hypotenuse. Simplify if we can. 17 over 17 is 1. And there we go. Adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. The cosine of theta on this triangle is 1 over root 2. Number 3. I'm going to do some of the odds, and you guys make sure you do all of the evens as well as the odds. Do both. Don't skip problems like I'm doing here. I'm not doing them all, so you guys have to do some of them on your own. Okay. So here, tangent, we're looking for, again, tangent, right, we are, right up here. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so I need the opposite of theta. And I need the adjacent. Adjacent goes from theta to the 90. So the question here, tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Divide these both by 5, you get, what is that, 4 thirds? 4 thirds, 4 thirds. Okay, you guys do number four on your own. But don't forget to fill in number three. Uh, next, we've got cos cosecant. Oh, I forgot to put that one up here. Okay, cosecant, cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite. Secant is the hypotenuse over the adjacent and cotangent is the adjacent over the opposite. So it's just a reciprocal or flipped for the previous three fractions. So cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite. So 15 over nine, simplify your fractions. What's that, five thirds. And you guys can do number six. Okay, down here, draw your own triangle. It's a right triangle. Okay, we have a right triangle. We're going to label our sides. They say, okay, always capital A, capital B, and C has to be the right angle. Baby C is across from capital C. Right? Baby C is across from capital C. Baby B is across from capital B. And little a is across from capital A. They're asking us to do the sine. Let me highlight this. The sine of a. The sine of a would be the opposite over the hypotenuse. The opposite over the hypotenuse. 12 over 15, which is, what's that? Four fifths. Oh, my bad. That would be four over five. Four fifths. If you can simplify your fractions, you should. Okay, you guys do number eight. Uh, okay, draw a triangle again. Okay, A, B, C. <clears throat> okay, so it says the sine of theta. Okay, I guess this one's theta, not A. Let's put theta right there. So sine of theta equals four-fifths. So I know the opposite is four. The hypotenuse is five. Remember, this is a three, four, five triangle. So this side has to be three. Or you could get that by doing the Pythagorean theorem. Not a problem. Three squared plus four squared equals five squared. This one's asking us to do the tangent of theta. Tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. That's it, four thirds. 
Okay, back here, we're going to set up a function. You have to choose, is it so, is it ka, or toa? Okay, this one here gives us adjacent. Well, it doesn't give us adjacent. We have to find the adjacent and the hypotenuse, which is cosine. The cosine of 44 is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. If x is up high, we multiply. x is up high, so we multiply 6 times the cosine of 44. Let's see, we go over here. 6 times the cosine of 44. 6 times the cosine of 44. Oh, I need to change this to degrees, don't I? Okay, if you use the Desmos, make sure you're in degrees. So about 4.3. So about 4.3. Make sure you're in degrees on your calculator. Okay, make sure you do number 12. Number 13, I have the opposite, opposite of the 18, and the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use sine, sine, S-O-H. The sine of 18 degrees is equal to 3 over x. x is down low, so we divide. Up high, you multiply. Down low, you divide. 3, divide the sine of 18. 3, divide the sine of 18, 9.7. Okay, you do 14. Okay, number 15, we've got opposite, we've got adjacent, so this is tangent. The tangent of 22 is equal to x over 9. x is up high, we multiply, that's 9 times the tangent of 22, 9 times the tangent of 22, so about 3.6. Okay, make sure you filled in all the evens and the odds on your paper before you take a picture of it and submit it.